Go. Well, hey there. Hey, um, welcome to another episode of, uh, Let's Talk. And this time we're going to talk about the fact that, that I read articles saying that there's a syringe behind this pillow. And it's very important to save the world with. And I, oh, come on. Okay, I'll walk in the fire. Jump in the fire. The article is about how Atari is failing once more and they're filing for bankruptcy. And as you can tell, we're playing Cry of Fear, but we're playing a custom story. So, I'm not surprised that Atari is doing this because they failed with game consoles. And then since Blade Runner cursed Atari, if you all remember the Blade Runner curse on Atari, it was it, it was an, a year later after the release of Blade Runner. If you don't know, Blade uh, Atari was the symbol for Atari was seen in the Blade Runner movie. And pretty much screwed them over. No, I don't know. It just a year later then the video game crash happened. And then they failed with game consoles, and now they said they failed with games. Which would we go? I don't want to go that way. So it was the last game they released was the Ghostbusters game, which was probably freaking horrible. But I'm interested as to see why when, what they're gonna sell and who's gonna buy it. Like I'm really interested to see who's gonna buy the Godzilla franchise. Because I really like those fighting games, and I really wish they'd make another one. Oh, and there's a gun. Always go to black. But I can still see my gun for some reason. Anyway, yeah, um, it said, the article said that they were doing better with mobile games, but they're still significantly losing money, because it was a, they were, it said reported of a gain of 11 million, and then it went down to 4, but that was just mobile games, so that's what they're going to focus on. So that's basically it for that article, and obviously it's linked in the description, and if you have any comments about it, then feel free to, what the heck? Sophie! She's alive! I don't know! I said I wouldn't try to act silly, but you know what? I'm, I'm bored and not acting funny, so. I got a shovel. I don't know why I need it. Do I have any ammo? I don't have any ammo. Oh, well, let's go in there. You know, I always find it funny they have bowling pins on their heads. I know it's not really a bowling pin, but I wonder if we got the design for bowling pins from that. But, what the? Well. Oh, drag down there? I hope not. Well, as the tree said to the lumberjack, I am stumped. If you all get that reference. Yeah, that's the article. So, I'm trying to think. Oh, yes. There's another thing I want to say. Uh, that Activision may also go down one of these days. That's creepy. That Activision, you know, no matter how big you think a company is, it'll fall one of these days. Cliche goes, the bigger they are, the harder they go up, and then they go down in flames. Okay, I'm running back. I'm getting the ammo, and then we're gone. So what do you think, what company do you think will go out next? Speaking of which, THQ, well, obviously I think everyone knows that, but, you know, even a big company like that's is trying to sell their assets. Some kind of lever? Well, where do I find a lever? In response to all the video game violence articles, too, I'm not doing any more on those. It's it's getting too out of hand, and there's really nothing to do about it. Except hopefully write it out. Better reload. Oh, I'm already reloading. Okay, well, let's try the shovel. Cool. I got it. That made no sense. God, forget timer, timer! Starve a timer! This one is there a light fixture in the... Okay, so it's dark. It's pretty much dark everywhere. I really don't know how long I've been playing this for, but probably it's been like three or four minutes. So I'll probably run six or seven more minutes. Now the graphics are pretty bad in this game. I mean Half-Life, but you know, they did a really good job making it to Cry of Fear. Which I think everyone said that, but... They must have been excavating with hammers, bro. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Okay, this. Ow, jump. Okay, that's not Oh, jeez. Don't mess with this. Oh, 
wow. That was pretty bad at first, but then it did well. So what do I do now? Oh, jeez. Well, I guess we just jump. There's only one way down. I hope that doesn't hurt me. Probably is. Yep. I honestly don't know if that did. What the hell was that? What the hell is going on in this place? Well, it might just be a haunted tomb. Now, I always had a little phobia. Jeez. That gold is weird looking. I always had a weird phobia. Anyone's ever heard of the Field Museum? Practically the best museum in all the freaking world. Other than the British Museum. There's an Egyptian place in there. And one night, like, I was at some Cub Scout thing. And then, like, it was a sleepover thing there. And I always thought it would be creepy to sleep in there. Because I thought I'd be, like, I'd get lost. And then we'd be, I'd be stuck in some, like, horrific, scary place like this. Usually that starts a trap. I hope I don't die, because I don't know where to save. You can move this, though. that even do? Do you say you couldn't move this block, or you could move this block? It looks like you're moving it to me. You're moving it quite well. And I'll get burned again. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Not that. Well. Okay. Well, I guess the size is gonna go. I'll tell you, the climbing in this game is not too good. Crouch jump, I mean seriously. There's ammo right there too. Of course I jump on the box. Great, 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 great. Is this cool? Are you kidding me? What does this do? Does this do anything? Oh, I can move that too. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, really? Is it stuck now? No. Well, how do I get that on top? What? What? Oh, I know that now. Pfft, let's push the freaking wall. There, 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 there. That's probably better. That's probably it. That's not it. Okay. Well, this is not good. I can't open this door. I was thinking maybe I could... Maybe I'd move this down back there and put that back on. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Let's do that. That was kind of dumb to me, though. It'll probably, like, fall off or something. Whoa, my god. Someone tells me that's just not going to work. This thing's gonna move way too fast. And clip into walls constantly. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to do that. Oh jeez, I don't know. Can I move it in here more? Oh, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Why does that slide so fast? I mean, it's supposed to drag, not slide. That still doesn't look right. Uh, we're here, maybe? I don't know. Is 
Do you need anything, any over here, anything over here? You serious? Another block. How was I supposed to find that? I mean, seriously. Oh, this. My question is, why didn't they decide to make this on the Half-Life 2 engine? Cause you never have my stuck. Oh God. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, jeez. Fun game, fun mod, fun custom story, whatever you want to call it. Well, I'm sorry this is so stupid to watch. God. This is very aggravating. And I constantly keep getting stuck too, that's not helping me. I'm hitting D though! This clips through pla practically every wall. rename myself the impatient gamer they completely am now where's the little box thing oh there cool It's like I don't even press anything, oh sliding forward. Okay, well you know what? I'll have to be it for this one. Yeah, it's eight minutes. Well, like I said before. Try to read articles, have more fun, and what does this do? A dusty tape recorder? Inside a statue? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Whatever. But be sure to read the article and comment your thoughts about it. See you later.